Welcome back to our open panel edition. You've seen these names on YouTube cover FRS updates, walkthroughs, and share their opinions. Let's see if you recognize any of them. All right, everyone, I want to welcome you all to We're Open's first panel. Thank you so much for joining us. All righty. Let's go around the room and state your name and channel. Regina, would you like to start? Sure. <laughs> so my channel is Regina FRS, and I've been doing videos ever since Alpha came out, which was like 2017 or something like that. Um, so I've been around for a while, and I made videos about Alpha for like the first year of my channel. Um, I've made a couple like soundtrack videos, but yeah, mostly updates about FRS's progress. I'm also not sure like the amount I'm allowed to share because I'm on staff now. Yeah, you're on the creative yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, yes. How did you get involved in that? Um, so they had applications open and I decided to apply because I'm a writer and I got my bachelor's in English in April and I was like, hmm, maybe that'll help me get on the team. Then like a couple months later, they reached out to me. Putting that to great and good use. So what's the process been like with that? Um, we really haven't done much because they're focused on the game, getting the game up and everything. Hopefully you'll be able to write for in-game too. Eden, let's hear about your channel. My name is Eden FPS. I've been making YouTube videos since like 2012. I started making Free Realms videos to start on my channel. And um, I just started covering projects that were reviving the game, whether it was Reconnected Sunrise or one of the many failed projects over the years. Where do you tend to get your information from? Discord, for sure. But also FRS staff that's currently there, like r and I saw on your channel, FRS isn't the only thing you cover, correct? Yeah, I, I cover a variety of games. There's so many shooters out there to cover at this point. So many free-to-play games that I like to show off. Speaking of games, Burr's Boy, you cover a lot on your channel. Yeah, I like to think of myself as like a variety gamer more than a free realms YouTuber kind of thing. Because my first free realms video, I had no idea that they were trying to remake the game. It was just like a nostalgia kind of thing. And you have a personal and gaming channel? Yeah, the personal channel kind of turned more into a reaction channel, like music and stuff. Gaming channels just have fun, everything like that. Yeah, they're a lot of fun. And I must say, I love your graphics, especially the backgrounds. Well, fun fact, that's actually Regina's soundtrack. Oh, video. really? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> funny. So I'm going to open up general questions. So how did you all discover Free Realm Sunrise? I actually discovered it through Luna Water, who's another Free Realms YouTuber. One of her streams for Alpha popped up in my recommended. So I clicked on it and I was like, how is she playing the game? She was talking about, you know, how it was a revival. So like the next day I made a Discord and joined the server and it was history from there. I found Free Realm Sunrise through... Some of the devs that were there at the start, Josh, Sora, and uh, Kev Man were involved with that, and I, I kept up with them. Eventually, that just led to me knowing about Sunrise, and I saw the uh, video previewing it, and I immediately posted content. I guess the first video that I did did so well, I kept covering old free roam stuff so and then people in the comment section would be like you know they're trying to remake the game and everything and somebody finally sent me a link to the discord and i got in there and then that's kind of how all that happened you all have shared information about frs to those who don't have discord have you had a chance to think about your impact a little bit sometimes not because i was so behind on the curve when i had first started doing update videos i think once i started to catch up and everything then started to feel like that a little bit yeah, I think the same kind of goes for me. Like I, I was like, I was covering it a lot in the beginning. Then eventually there came a time where I was just like, this is info I'm just not interested in and just only cover the extremely important stuff. Makes sense. I know it's been harder to make update videos without getting updates. I would say this next question is more for Eden and Regina. You both had alpha keys. What was that like? It's closed now, right? Um, it closed sometime in 2018. I forget when. I joined like, there were like two alpha phases. So there was like one... Um, that was like April, I believe, around that time. And then I joined in the one in the summer. And I just got um, a random DM from Mark at the time um, with the key. And then my friend Ruel told me that he kind of told them to, you know, let me into Alpha. So that's how I got my key. But it was it was a lot of fun. I made a lot of memories. In fact, three of my best friends um, on online. I met through Alpha, um, Jez, um, Cat, and Elk. It's it's so cool that I, you know you like make friends through this community, and you know you're not really intentionally trying to, but like it's like a I've been friends with them for five years or so, and it's it was just so cool. 
I joined the alpha pretty much. I think I was the first person who showed up to that, the first non-dev. It was very exciting. There were like so many people in my stream at the time. It was like extremely overwhelming. I did end up going in alpha phase two as well. And that was also really fun seeing more things work. Based on everyone's review of the game, what are everyone's thoughts? Fantastic. I, w <laughs> I wish I could still play it. Open source is definitely a, a big plus. So. What are you most excited about for the game coming back? I'd say just being able to play with new people because you know as you grow up you know you make new friends especially in the gaming community you make new gamer friends and then for them to want to try out that game with you even if they've never played it that's an exciting thing that could happen i i think i'm really excited for just a hundred percenting everything in the game and back then free realms content was like either a music video or some type of tutorial that doesn't tell you anything on what you're actually supposed to be doing. It's uh, it's going to be a blast seeing like proper content coming from so many different creators. Yeah, I agree. I think definitely the social aspect playing with like all the people that you've gotten to know over the past, like, what is it, five or six years since we've been in development? I'm looking forward to completing the, like everything. I would love to get 100% completion on everything because I'm a completionist when it comes to video games. Um, and then for me, kind of directing where the Free Realms quest lines and stories are going to go um, and seeing the community's reaction to like where me and the other creative writers take the the storyline. It's going to be very rewarding to see your stories in game. I'm really excited for that. Yeah. We'll be looking forward to seeing your content and you in game. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank yeah, you. No problem. Have a good one. Thank you so much to Regina, Eden, and Burr's Boy for joining us. Make sure to check out their channels. Our next guest will be an FRS YouTube panel part two with different creators. Subscribe to stay updated.